Hi Brian, I'm going to run through the steps on how you do backwards elimination. So step one is to run your program to generate the work file like this. So this is the work file with all the data here. Step two, look through your program and look for the lines that begin with ls. Uh, this is the equation to update. To update the, que uh, the equation, go up to quick estimate equation. Under estimation settings, choose down here step-wise least squares. Now in the dependent variable box, you enter dependent variable followed by uh, the, the constant and in the second box you enter the list of regressors. So what I've got here in the dependent variable is a uh, I've called it y, space followed by the constant. In the regressors I have uh, x1 and x2 variables. Notice that uh, we want to include uh, the possibility of lags 1 to 6. So you do by doing brackets minus 1 to minus 6. Then there's a space, then the next variable which is x2. Notice there's no space between x2 and the bracket. So it's immediately following the variable you put an open and then type minus 1 to minus 6 or whatever lag you want it to look up to. Next thing, go up to the Option tab, click on that. Just check on here that it is on backwards, do backwards elimination. Then looking under stopping values, go up to the p-value backwards and change that to the standard 0.05 and then OK. Now ready to go. So just press OK and then that's it. So this is the output. You can make a note of the AIT measure here. Now suppose you want to change the lags. Uh, what do you do? You click on estimate and now you can edit this. So you could change this up to say if you want to, to go up to said lag 6, lag 10 or something like that. Lag 10 and then just press OK again to generate the new output. Suppose you're happy with uh, this model uh, judging by the AIC measure. Remember you're going for AIC with the lowest AIC value. Going for the model with the lowest AIC. Then you want to uh, copy into your program. Uh, you put LS, you type in LS, name of the dependent variable, Y, and then followed by this list here of the regressors. And you are done. Now you follow the same step for each equation you find in your program. Okay, I hope this is useful. Uh, drop me a line. I'll uh, meet you soon anyway. Bye.